Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my stickers that I use in my shop. Um, I'm very new to making stickers uh, and it's been an interesting uh, process trying to figure out like sizes and just kind of like what I like for sticker designs. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna bring you guys along and show you the process. So I have my sketchbook here and the other day I was just doing some doodles and I really liked the way they had looked so here is like the full spread. Let you guys take a look at it. Um, I used a Tombow Funonosuke brush pen for these. Um, it I just wasn't really like thinking about these too much. I just did them kind of quickly and for fun. But then once I finished them, I was very happy with how some of them turned out and I thought that they would look really cute as stickers. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do that by turn, like turning sketches from a sketchbook to a sticker. So let's go and get started. Okay, so this is the setup that I have for taking pictures of these sketches. I have this really large window, so it's great for natural light and helps a lot with photography. I just put the sketchbook on my desk and I'm going to take the pictures with my phone. So I'm going to screen record and try and show you guys what I do. Okay, so then I just open the camera on my phone, select the filter vivid, and take several close-up pictures of these sketches. I get close as I can so that it'll have a high resolution whenever zooming in on the digital program that we will use. So then I just go in and edit these a little bit, I hit the auto button, and then I'm going to scroll all the way to contrast and then bump it up a little bit so that we have a brighter um, white and then a darker black color so that it'll look better when sketching and coloring the sketch. I then open Krita and I'm going to create two new layers, but before I add that second layer, I'm going to change the sketch layer to multiply. This way we can color the sketch. Now I'm going to create that other layer and then we will use that layer to be our background color. So I'm going to come over here and select the color that I want. I'm going to be doing this light peachy pink color that will be the background color for the sticker. You can leave this as white, but for this one I wanted something um, a little different and decided to do a pink to match the strawberry. After that was done, I clicked on the bottom layer and then I painted it white. Now I'm going to select the pink layer and I'm going to grab a brush. I'm just going to use a regular brush here because I'm going to be erasing the pink from the strawberry. So I'm just going to go in with a brush, select the eraser, and then erase all of the insides of the drawing. Um, I hope that makes sense, but I'm just basically erasing the pink layer from the sketch, but keeping the pink layer on the outside. <laughs> um, then I'm going to create a, another layer and drag it up underneath the pink layer. I am going to start grabbing my colors that I want for the sticker. So after selecting the colors, I'm going to go in with my charcoal rock soft brush. Um, this comes in with the regular Krita brush pack um, whenever you download it. There it is. <laughs> um, and I use this brush the most. I love this brush. It has really nice texture and opacity. Um, as well as flow so I really like the way it handles and it gives a nice texture and it's not quite so smooth as some digital art brushes like the basic ones are so I really like this one I then just color all of the sketch the way I want it for the sticker and then we'll move on to the next step after everything is colored the way I want it I'm going to go in with the lasso tool and go all all the way around the sticker design after everything is selected, I'm going to go in with my top three layers, which are the paint layer, the sketch layer, and the background layer. And then I'm going to merge them and then copy them onto a new file. Then I'm going to move it to the center. And then on the new file, I'm going to change the background color to the color of the 
sticker background. It's going to look a little bit different right now, but we're going to go in and edit it so that it is all seamless. So then I'm going to take my magic wand tool, selecting on the sticker design layer, and then I'm going to select the background and then delete all of the old um, color. And then there we go. That is the sticker design. And then I'm just going to take my eraser and just adjust anything and fix any of the extras and, and make any final adjustments that I want to the design. Once everything is the way I want it, I'm going to come up here to File, and I'm going to click Save As, and then I'm going to save it as a JPEG. This um, will be what we upload to our sticker manufacturer. Also, I wanted to mention, make sure your file is in CMYK, not RGB. It'll not print the same color if you select RGB. I am now moving over to Sticker Mule and I'm going to click Get Samples. Here's where I'm going to click Custom Sticker Samples. I can adjust the size and once I do, I can click Order 10 and then I will select the file from there and then order them. Okay, so it's been about a week and a couple days and all of the stickers that I ordered from Sticker Mule have finally arrived so I'm excited and just a little nervous to see what they look like so let's go ahead and unpackage all of these. Okay, so here is the design that we did on the computer, and oh my gosh, it looks so good! Wow! I really like it! <laughs> um, so what I did, if you guys um, didn't see, I don't remember if I left it in the edit or not, but I order their custom sample pack. Um, so it's like 10 stickers, and oftentimes they give you more than 10 um, for $9 and free shipping. So it's a huge deal, um, especially for someone that doesn't like sell a lot of stickers or make a lot of stickers. This is um, perfect to try out. So, um, and the quality of the stickers is my absolute favorite. They're so smooth and um, the printing detail is super crisp, so I love them. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to finish unboxing all of these. Oh my gosh, I've been so excited for this little guy. Oh, he looks so cute. I love it. Okay, now let's unbox, unbox all of them. <laughs> Okay, and here they are. Sorry, the lighting's a little bit dark in here because I'm filming earlier in the morning, but I wanted to hurry and unbox them. Um, this looks a little bit more gray on video than it does in real life. A lot of these are actually quite a bit more green, um, but for some reason they're really looking gray, so hopefully I can fix that in the edit, but yes, I'm so happy with these. Yay. <laughs> Okay, so I think I'm going to end the video here. I hope you guys found this helpful in any way, and or at least found it fun to watch. Um, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.